Hi, we're Summer and Ryan, and we live and travel in this RV that we renovated ourselves. We took a lot of time to make everything exactly how we want it, except for this. This week, we're renovating the cab. Let's go! So as you can see right now, this is kind of our extra storage closet. <laughs> we just put everything that doesn't have a home here. So first, before we do anything, we just have to clean this up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning out this area and I'm pretty sure this console comes out so that will make things a lot easier so let's see oh yeah <laughs> wow so as you can see this whole area is just very gray and outdated we did kind of want to do renovations from the beginning but we were in a little bit of a time crunch when we did the rest of the RV so we decided to hold off but because the rest of our RV is so like bright whites and pinks and oranges, we just wanted to kind of update this area so it fit in a little better with the rest of our home. So the first thing we're gonna do is paint. Now that we have this area cleaned out, we're gonna get ready to paint it in the morning. It is time to prep to paint. So we're starting by just taking everything out. Yeah, taking out these visors, it's pretty easy. There's just a couple screws that are holding them in. And that'll make things a lot easier to paint around. Paint time! <laughs> We're cleaning to start painting here. And just a little bit, well, cleaning to tape, which will probably take us a few hours because there's a lot to tape. <laughs> The method we decided to paint the dashboard with is spray paint, which means we have to tape basically everything. Um, we're keeping all of this area that's black, black, because we don't want to deal with painting around all these little knobs and things like that. But everything that's gray is going to get painted, so we're taping everything up. <laughs> All right, I think I just finished the second door. Um, we're getting close to being done taping, but a good tape job means a good paint job. So hopefully it'll look good. We're using the Krylon matte clamshell color to paint our interior. Um, I've got this little trigger to <laughs> make it easier for me. And we're gonna test it out on the center console and see how it paints before we go inside. The real deal now. Second coat going on. We painted the console outside, now we're painting some inside. Um, pretty nervous, <laughs> so here we go. Just finishing up all of the dashboard. It took us four cans of paint and a little more. We just had to go buy one extra can of paint. So almost five cans of paint to get this completely covered. I've covered the entire interior with our color and now I'm just going over it with a clear coat to protect it from the sun and any scratches. I've started to peel off some of this tape. Looks pretty good. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's like really new. <laughs> Excited to do the rest. We are ripping up this lip of the carpet that runs 
from side to side and we're going to replace it with something that looks a little bit better. Uh, we have a plank of some redwood and I think that'll go in here really nicely. Right now I'm measuring to cut this board um, for the trim that separates the cab from the rest of the RV. Uh, here's the board I have. What you doing? I'm gonna put this board down, see what we think. Okay, so we're trying to like figure out what we want to use to replace here, and we thought we were just gonna use this redwood board. I don't know, I'm not vibing with it that much. It like sticks out a lot to me. It kind of looks unfinished. We're considering staining it, but I'm also looking into like some other options. Like it's a pretty wide area, it's over three inches, so we're looking at like some like stair nosing, but we have to we'd have to find one big enough which we don't really even know if that's possible. So, work in progress. <laughs> All right. For this floor problem, um, we went and got a big piece of heavy duty stair nosing. I uh, picked that up from Lowe's. So I think we're gonna actually try that one. It looks a little bit more finished and we'll kind of smooth out the floor more. Uh, so I'm gonna try to cut that now and see if we can't get it installed today. It is the moment of truth. Did we waste our money or is this gonna look really good? I don't know, I'm scared. Okay, we'll see. All right. Let's do it, let's just, uh, let's get it over with. <laughs> oh, I hope I love it. I'm gonna be so sad if I don't love it. Or if it doesn't fit at all. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. Uh, because these seat belt holders are hitting the corner of the lip. So I'm gonna, have to, uh, I'm gonna have to turn the lip off so it fits in there right. I think it's gonna look good though. Yeah, just before it goes in. <laughs> did you do the thing? I did it. Hey. So I don't know if I explained that I had to cut a layer off of this from here and here to give it like a quarter inch more space to cover up this part. This gap was before difficult. was just yeah. so big, but we did it. Now I just gotta glue it down. I'm custom making some arm covers, uh, arm rest covers here. So I did not want to make seat covers completely from scratch. And they don't make seat covers except for like $300 ones that fit our RV. So we ordered this one that doesn't quite fit and I'm going to use the headrest part of the seat cover to make an arm rest. And then I'm also going to add some fabric to the bottom of that seat cover on the back because it doesn't go quite all the way down. So I am making covers for these visors and I'm starting just by tracing the shape of the visor on the fabric that we're going to be using. And then I'll just add a little seam allowance and sew them up. So the two pieces that I traced out from the visors, I am just sewing together except for one end and then I'm just putting a button on that end to um, close them. So it's been pretty simple so far. I already got one made and I'm working on the second. And then it's on to the seat covers, which I'm not as excited about. <laughs> So I like really ended up having to make these like armrest covers completely custom. I did still reuse the like faux leather from the headrest, but then I added some of this fabric that I used for the visors on the back. And now I am trying to string through like this little piece of cord to get it to like kind of tighten up on the bottom. These visors look awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Just hanging these up right now. Got one. So truly nothing in an RV just like works the first time. We bought these seat covers and they're not long enough to go all the way down. So I just bought a black sheet and I am using the like cutting out some parts of this black sheet to make it longer so it goes all the way down. And I like really had no idea what I was doing, but I think it worked. So I'm gonna do the other one now. 
All right, let's see how it turns out. Today I'm going to start this macrame garland for the cab area. I wanted something pretty to hang around the edges there that are kind of just like rough looking right now. And I had this leftover cord from another project I was doing. I have never made anything uh, really out of macrame. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. I found a YouTube video and yeah, I don't know. We're just going to wing it and hopefully it turns out really good. <laughs> So either I am doing this whole brush out the fringe thing completely wrong or it's just really tedious and takes a long time but I am not looking forward to doing this on all of them. It's, oh my god. It's taking forever. We're getting somewhere though. <laughs> So I've now finished all of my little flags for my garland, but I unfortunately found out I bought the wrong kind of cord. I originally thought I was going to fringe out all of the bottoms, but um, it was not working at all. So we've changed it up a little bit and we're just doing some little fringies at the very end, but I still think it's going to turn out pretty good. So we were trying to decide for a long time what to do with the floor in the cab. Uh, it's just this really old uh, tan carpet that has a lot of stains on it. So we knew it had to be replaced. Uh, we definitely didn't think that taking out the seats would be an option right now. Um, so we decided to try to find some kind of carpet that we could put over the top of it to make it look a lot nicer. We really didn't know what kind of carpet we were looking for. Um, so we tried like Home Depot and Lowe's and we looked on Facebook marketplace for anything that might be able to work that we could like cut up and salvage until finally we went to Target and found this carpet right here um, it's just a utility mat it's pretty thin but it has a great pattern and I think it's going to really look good in here look what Ryan just finished <laughs> how's that cut really easy and I think it looks amazing. I can't believe we found that like $24 is total cost for all of that and it looks incredible. New hair who this? <laughs> Looking a little different now. Oh yeah I changed it up a little bit. Um, I did cut off 13 inches of my hair during the making of this video but new hair. <laughs> We are so close to being finished. So I have a couple different macrame garlands that I'm hanging up right now. I think I'm just gonna use some like command strips and Velcro. After that, we have some stickers we're putting underneath here on the tip of the roof, um, ceiling part, and that's like it. We have these weights on this. We're letting that dry. We just glued that down. So it's really coming together. All I'm right. super happy. <laughs> Out to Ryan for a super great idea. We're hanging the macrame, you wanna let us know what's going on here with it? So we tried tape, we tried uh, sticky tack, we tried... Here's our table clips. trying all of the things we tried to hang it with. <laughs> then we decided that we're gonna use these Christmas, or Christmas ornament hooks and stick them up underneath this and let it hang down. It's working super well. Yeah, so far so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is our like last thing in the cab, um, we're putting stickers on this board. So we have a bunch of stickers that we've saved just along our way. And so we thought this would be a really cool way to incorporate them. So we're starting to add all of our stickers. Of course, have to put this one up. And here's the finished product.
So here is the finished product. I absolutely love it. It feels so much more like home in here now. This place, um, this area always kind of felt out of place and didn't fit in with the rest of our house. But now, I don't know, I just can't wait to like be traveling again because <laughs> it feels so more homey in here. But um, you know, the seat covers, you can kind of see they're not perfect because we did have to make those, but I still love how they turned out. And we added a few little plants in here and yeah, it just looks really beautiful. I love how everything tied together. There is a few parts in the process where I was like not sure it was gonna work, <laughs> but especially once we got this floor in here, I cannot believe we found like the perfect flooring just at Target on sale for like $12. Um, it just really it is perfect. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week as we remodeled the driving area. We are totally happy with how it turned out. Let us know in the comments what you think. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's been really fun and we'll see you next time. See you next time.